Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Yep, I have found a couple of barn find cars. Ones, I don't know if you guys probably haven't seen in a while, and you're gonna get some traffic noise because, yeah, there, there's it's farm country out here. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get that. But anyways, there's a couple of cars in here that I found in this building, and this building is actually really, really old. I mean, you can see it. And these cars have been stuffed in here for quite a while. But I want you guys to look at these cars. If you like them, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. But I'm gonna go inside and show you what they are, so. Go inside here. Yep. It's a really, really old building. It's a little dark in here. The owner Ed is already in here to meet me. This one's already been sold. That one's all covered up, that one's covered up, but this is the one I wanted to show. The Hudson Hornet. All still original, all still original paint. Even the interior is original. Get the cover off here. And this car is up for sale. Somewhere in the mid 20s. As you can see, yep. The Hudson Hornet emblem. But this car is in beautiful shape. Beautiful, beautiful shape. And it is 19, yeah, 1965. Yeah, this car is still, still gets driven occasionally. Let me open up the other door here, try and get some more light in here. You guys can see this. I mean, uh, there's some parts and things like that, but this is all still original. The door cards, nothing has been reupholstered. Right there. I mean, the back seat is huge. They've kept the back seat covered up. I mean, it has some miscellaneous things in here. They were smart enough to put these in there to, to dry our sheep to keep any mice out. I know it's a little dark in here. But the original ceiling, original back glass, well before they had rear defrost. Yeah, even these handles you hang on to while you're driving. And this is a very, very big car. This car is huge. Roll down crank windows. See if I can get the cover off just a little more. Get a little bit more light in here. I don't want to take the cover oh, too far off, but I'm going to have to get it back on there in a minute. But yeah, now you get to see. Now there's more light. Oh. I might have to put my light on from my cell phone. Give me one second here. Yeah, I mean, you can see a lot of things are still original. Everything is. The mileage, 45,000. You can see that. Everything is all still original. With the original patina. Old original radio. I mean, what some of this stuff is, I have no idea if you know what some of this stuff is. Leave a comment down below. I'm guessing that's a little, yeah, it's a little glove box. And the Hudson Horn emblems right there. Man, yeah, all these door cards are all original. And some of you guys, if you don't know what that is down by the floorboard, I know what it is. That's how you turn your high beams off and on. But yeah, everything is in beautiful, beautiful shape. 
The ceiling is still original. Everything is still original in this car. Nothing has been altered, cut up, restored. All still original metal, all still original paint. I'm gonna ask you, do you know how to, oh yeah, it looks like the hood's already open. Shut that light off on my phone. Come on. Okay. I'm gonna say, I think you know how to get this hood open probably faster than I do. <laughs> Come on. You know how this opens? Uh, I'll say, Ed, you know how this, you know how this hood opens? Cause I don't know where the, can't find the latch. Gotta be somewhere in there. Can't be far. I maybe mean, I put my light back on in there, maybe we'll find us. Uh, I think it'd be nearby. Not like the newer cars. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say maybe a little farther down. Figured this out, I'm sure. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> we tried. Or maybe I'll stick my hand in and maybe I'll have better luck trying to get this hood open here. Let me set this down. You guys can take a look at the car really quick. I have the camera falling. too far. Yeah, I feel something, but... There we go. Wow. This little bar, you just had to push it. Wow. And yeah, definitely, I mean, that's, there's a lot of room in here. Yeah, the battery's out of it, which is fine. Still the original battery tray. Look at the ground wire. That ground wire is huge. No alternator, that's just a power generator. Because this is well before alternators. Twin-H power. Wow. Nice. Whew. Huge starter motor on that too. Like a straight six. Yeah, all still original. Everything. And you can tell by the paint because it's all still original enamel. Which is nice. I'm not going to shut this all the way. But now you know if you just got to take that bar and just push it back, that's how it opens it. <laughs> we can sneak over to the other side here, maybe get the... And all sorts of parts. Which is nice. They kept this car up. The trunk is actually really huge. Goes really, really far back. Extra chrome pieces. I mean, still the original rug for the trunk. 
Yeah, this car is not rotted, never has been. Somebody put all these cloths down because they cared about this car. Lots and lots of extra parts. Well, not sure what that stands for, but there you go. Get a thumbnail on that if I can. So yeah, we'll get the cover back on this one. And I'll take a look at the other one. So what is this one next to it, this blue one? That's not for sale. Right. But I'm just curious of what it is. <laughs> it's a Rebel. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Yeah, so these ones, yeah, those ones are not for sale. This one is. This Hudson Horn it is. So, but if you guys, you like this video, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys on the next one.